<gasps> Those allies are trapped. Oh, I'll save you guys. Be free. Take a cookie. Die. Oh, run. There we go. We're safe. You can be my pet. Bruh. Uh, wait, wait. Are these allies my first ever pet in my world? Uh, I need to redeem myself. So I'm going to tame all the pets in Minecraft and build a giant zoo for them. Let's first start by removing all of these trees. And now let's build the outline for the zoo. Wow, that is a perfect circle. <laughs> okay, here's the game plan. Inside this lopsided tumor-shaped circle will be a bunch of custom homes for all 23 tameable pets in Minecraft. Then there's going to be pathways all around connecting everything together. And to start, we can check off the allays. Ow. I'll name you Quartholum and i'll name you uh fred now let's shove them inside a giant glass box now let's decorate their enclosure and instead of using the pillager banner to decorate the outpost i think it would be kind of fun to replace these with custom bright blue alley banners and bam bam boppy bop, 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 bop. Uh, there we go the allays have taken over the pillager outpost and now they own it i figured this would be a good switch up so the allays don't feel like ptsd from living beside the pillager outpost but anyways let's continue decorating the entire enclosure Where did this creeper come from? It's literally broad daylight. Uh, there we go. The first enclosure is complete for the alleys. So we'll first start off with the easier pets to tame. Like the wolf, the cat, and the pig. Yo, could you hurry up, pig? Then throughout the video, we'll move on to the harder pets to tame. Okay, so far we got some pigs, some dogs, and some cats. Now I need to figure out where to build their homes. I feel like this is pretty good. And you might be wondering, why does this little outline I built look so weird? It looks like an animal. Well, because it is. Since I mistreated my cats so poorly, I'm going to give them a special home. So let's go grab a bunch of colored blocks. And my plan is to build a giant cat that will resemble their parents or something. So the cats feel like they're at home. Like this. I know it doesn't look like a cat yet, but just imagine like the face right here and a paw here, a paw here. And of course, the back paw is just kind of like chilling like this. So the cat just looks like it's vibing, you know? Trust me, after using some of my cookie skills, this should start looking like a cat soon. Just give me a bit and bam. I really like how this cat turned out. He's super cute. Everybody drop some names in the comments for this guy. Oh, wait, I'm missing the tail. Whoops. There we go. You might be wondering where are the cats gonna live well you know you know how all baby cats kind of just like snuggle up with the, the mom's belly because it's warm that is exactly what's gonna happen and sit the baby cat is finally reunited with the mommy cat and that marks off one pet which is the cat now let's start working on the dog house for these little puppies which will be right in front of the kittens and that's my dog house oh yeah i decided to change it up a little bit and not build a dog face and just put it like a dog bone on top and i'm actually just gonna sit them right in front of the house and maybe have a few inside the house I'm kind of building this entire thing like a zoo. So soon I'll have pathways connecting to everything and I can walk around and say hi to all of my pets. And now for the piggies. And I'm going to build it over here behind the cats. And there are other farm animals that I can tame, like horses, donkeys, llamas, and camels. So that's why I'm going to build a barn. All right, so far it's looking pretty good. I just need to add a little bit more detail, like some windows, some trap doors, fences, some lighting, and do the inside like that it was supposed to be built right here but i moved it all the way over to there so let's grab all my fences and build an area for my piggies let's break this and welcome to your new home yeah oh that guy is stuck come on buddy there's always one less intelligent one which was me growing up <laughs> you'll be super safe here <laughs> yeah i'm lying the next easy mob i want to collect is also related to cats they are the og cats before these noobs existed and they are are ocelots. What's up, man? But I do need some fish to tame these guys, so... Oh, my... Bruh's beating me with a rod. Let's find ourselves some ocelots to tame. <gasps> Oh, yeah. This is the first ocelot. Come here, buddy. I got some candy. Uh, why? He ate all my fish. Bruh. Okay, let's try again. Yo, how much fish do you eat? Be my pet. Why won't you? Why? Why? Will you be my pet, sir? I come in peace. You didn't hear any commotion earlier. Come on. Come on. Let me tame you, sir. <gasps> Wait. Wait, why is he eating all my fish too? Come on, bro. You know what? Let's do this the hard way. Yoink. Let's collect a few more of these guys. <gasps> 
There's a parrot here too. Wait, 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 wait. I don't have seeds, but I can lead him. <gasps> There's another one. Uh, this is going to be a challenge. Make some room. Come on, guys. Uh, get up the mountain. Totally not by force. Trust me. And we have officially made it. Let's put the cats along with my actual cats. And for the parrots, I'll leave you guys right here. I'll build you guys a home soon. There were also pandas in the jungle. So I also tamed them as well and brought them over to the zoo. Hello there. Oh, hurry up. Okay, somehow we managed to tame two medium difficulty mobs, which is the panda and the parrot. They were a little challenging, but we still need to finish off the easy difficulty pets, which is the horse, the donkey, and some fish. So let's first start trying to find a horse somewhere. Yo. Okay, let's tame him. Uh, and let's head home. Woohoo! Oh. I'll place you inside the barn for now, and I'll name you Toe. Just Toe. Stay put while I go find yourself a friend. Or never mind, these horses are too boring. They're identical to Toe. We need to find a horse with a different skin. Uh, yeah. Uh, and you'll be foot. Okay, now that we have these two horses with super normal names, let's build them a stable outside of the barn. Right over here. All right, let's go grab my toe uh, and shove him inside this little pen here. Oh, this lamp does not work right there. Oh. I actually am just too big. Get in! Oh, my toe is too big too. All right, bad, bad planning. Get in and let's replace the fences with fence gates. And there we go. All right, let's go ride my foot and shove my foot into here. Oh yeah, that can check off the horses. And now we just need a donkey. Where are you, donkey? Is that a donkey noise? I, I have no idea. <gasps> donkey! Let me ride you, son. Pause. And resume. I think I was making the right noise. All right. All right. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to shut up. We have finally made it. This is my third donkey. Don't ask me why, but um, stuff happened. <laughs> Bam. Let's name him space in between the toe and let's throw him in the pen. That sounded like I was throwing him in prison. <laughs> there we go. We have space in between the toe, the donkey. We have foot and we have toe. That makes all the easy pets tamed except for one, which is fish. Hey, where are you guys going? Going. Come back. L let me yoink you guys. <laughs> but yeah, we need to collect some fish. And the scary part is there is over 3,000 varieties of fish. So we're just going to try to collect as many different kinds as we can. And there we go. An entire double chest of fish. And one puffer fish because they are so annoying. <laughs> now I just need to build a giant aquarium somewhere with enough water for all of these fish to live. So this tank of water needs to be massive. So let's grab a ton of glass and let's start marking out an area for the aquarium. Okay, this is what I got so far. I want to dedicate this entire area to an aquarium. I basically want to recreate the ocean that I built right inside here and put a bunch of cool structures inside of it. So I'm going to have to work on a lot of things. Let's first start by terraforming the land so it fits in with the aquarium vibe. All right, I removed all of the dirt so I can replace it with some sand. I fixed up this mountain a little bit. I added a little spike and a nice little arc right over here. I feel like it would be cool if like fish and dolphins can swim around it. It would just be like a cool view. You know what I mean? Why are you out of your lead? Wait, 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 wait. How did you get out? How'd you escape? Did the blue guy escape too? Oh, wait, he's here. How did you get out? What? This guy actually prison break through the lead. What the heck? Come here. You... Stay. I'll, I'll build a home for you soon, all right? Trust me. But now let's fill in this entire area with sand. Let's cover this entire thing up. So far, so good. I think it's a little too sandy, though. So I'm going to replace some of this with some patches of grass because that's what's in the ocean for some reason. Whoa. What? How did you break free again? This guy's actually Alcatraz. Stop escaping. Alcatraz. I, I definitely buffed that name up. I don't know how to spell it. <laughs> okay, the last thing I need to do now is raise the glass wall like that. So far, so good. The only thing I need to do now is cover up this entire thing with a layer of dirt. Okay, let's go ahead and grab my water buckets. I was going to say bottle. Um, I only have one. Nice. I can't even afford water anymore. Okay, let's put one here and let's go searching for some water. Anything near me? Come on. How is there not an ounce of water anywhere? Where are you at? Oh, here we go. Quick drive by. Yeet. And we're back out. Ugh. And now we're just going to make a giant pool of water on top of this surface. Now let's get rid of all of the dirt to fill up the aquarium. I'm even getting blown up in the water. Ow! I'm done. We got water inside the giant aquarium now. And I think we're fully ready to put all the fish inside the aquarium. Let's spam them all inside their new home. Albert Aquarium. I, I just call him Aquarium. George. Pineapple. Pizza. Fred. Jack. Henry. And all of the rest. And lastly, the puffer fish. The most deadly, ugliest, most hated fish. But there we go. We. Oh my god. 
These guys think they're fish. How are they not drowning? Please leave my fish alone. This is supposed to be a safe space. Oh, yeah. The aquarium looks so cool. Since we just got all of my pet fish inside their tank, the next animal I want to tame is a dolphin. Seems like the only option I have is to go to the closest ocean, which is right beside my base, and drag a dolphin all the way over there. <laughs> Dolphins. I am so weird. <laughs> I found one. Can I lead him? I could. Yo, look at me drag him around. <laughs> we found another one. Uh, oh, yeah. <gasps> there's another one. Uh, oh, my God. There's four. Uh, oh, I have a dolphin army. Okay, the real question is, can I fly with them? Yay. Oh, my God. They, they flew for a second. Hopefully, it didn't hurt any of them. <laughs> okay, I have no idea how I'm going to take them all the way over there without them drowning. I do have a water bucket, though, so I think this might help if I just put them in a bit of water occasionally so they don't just drown in air somehow. So, let's go through the factory district look at them flop around like fish this might be the first time ever in history that dolphins were inside a minecraft jungle okay we are almost there it's a little hard to navigate these random hills but oh no we were literally right here oh that's so that's so sad into the water you go yes welcome home hopefully they don't eat my fish <laughs> one will be called caitlin one will be lexi and the last one will be dude wait what what are they doing to caitlin yo <laughs> Caitlin, I'll save you. <laughs> what are you guys doing to her? All right, you know what? I'll, I'll let them do their thing. But honestly, the aquarium is looking a little plain. So let's take some time to decorate this entire place up. <gasps> Oh, one of the dolphins just hopped out and died. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my God, please go away. It's not the time. All right, it is the time for him. Which one died? Dude is alive and Caitlyn is alive. No, Lexi just committed. Yep, I got to bring up these walls a little bit so these dolphins don't jump out of it. Okay, th this should prevent it a little bit. But there we go. The entire aquarium is all decorated and looking amazing. Okay, and that is all the easy animals tamed. Now let's move on to the medium difficulty ones like the frog, strider, fox, llama, and camel. I did notice that there's a water wandering trader visiting me with a few llamas oh yeah come on let me be your daddy let's go okay we got one let me ride you wait why, why can't i ride you is it because you already have a daddy okay i see how it is let me just uh trap him here grab a lead and pull you away Okay, honestly, I don't know how to separate them. But there we go. We already have a llama. And this one's got style. He's already got a Gucci blanket over him and everything. Let's name you Kyle. And I could just easily throw him inside this barn that I built earlier, but I feel like it doesn't really fit the vibe. This guy gives me like Egyptian gangsta vibes. Like he owns the place. Look at him. So I think I want to build him something special. So let's grab all of my materials. And my plan is to build a miniature stable right beside my barn. And it'll be customized to be a part of and look like a llama. Like this. <laughs> it probably doesn't look like much right now but um imagine this this is the llama stable similar to the barn and it's gonna be right behind a giant llama statue like this this is the nose and the two eyes i don't really know if this is gonna be a good idea but um you know what let's just do it the cookie way spam bunch of blocks and pray it looks good and this is what i got so far oh it looks better than i thought to be honest the face is kind of messed up though okay let's put it this maybe there we go that's our llama but honestly it looks kind of like a deer so i still need to add the cool effects to them like the gucci blanket and the louis vuitton headband and the scarf now let's quickly build the stable there we go i built you an exact clone <laughs> come into here and stay the heck i just found a wait did he just escape wait, who's this guy where'd you come from isn't this an exact clone of kyle i found your little twin oh my god let's name your friend kyle two. Oh yeah i got kyle one kyle two living in kyle three this is amazing <laughs> the next mob i want to collect is a fox mainly because i know there is a spruce biome over here let's go fox hunting wait i think they eat wild berries right let me collect a few of these. Okay, I've been searching the forest for a while and I can't find any foxes. You think if I sing the song, they'll just appear? <clears throat> what does the fox say? Ding, 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 ding. I just got secondhand cringe from doing that and I'm literally the one doing it. Where are the foxes at? Is it big? Mm, tell me where the foxes are. Oh, I guess he can't because he's dead now. Whoops. <gasps> oh my God, that's the cow. Where are the foxes, bruh? <gasps> Oh my, bro, I don't think I've ever made that noise before. Come here! Oh, you want these berries, daddy? Eat them, yes! Oh, look how cute he is. Let me just force feed him. Wait, what is he holding? 
Is that an egg? Fuck, I can tame him. Wait, what? No, I didn't bring a lead. Oh. Okay, I'm back in the same area. Please tell me the fox is still here. Oh, yeah. Come here, boy. Oh, you're coming home with me. We got a journey to go on. Oh, my God. I almost killed that fox. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What if I tried this? Ready? This might be the craziest experience of your life, or you might not experience life anymore. Yo! Yes. Oh my God, it's working. Yes. The fox is on the leash. Okay, we just gotta make it over to the land. Just land in the water first. <gasps> oh, wee. Okay, that took a lot longer than I thought, but I finally see my zoo area. Come on, we're so close. Oh, another parrot. Yoink. Stay. And you stay. And we'll name him Flox because this was the first fox to ever fly. So it combined it to, to Flox. Yeah, I'm not that clever. Now let's figure out a place to build this fox home. This place is already a little crowded. So let's just, let's just put it here. I want to do something similar to the cat and the llama. So let's grab a bunch of materials to rebuild a fox. And when foxes are laying down, it's just so cute. So that's what I'm going to build. There we go. I finished the fox. I made it curl a little bit with the tail right beside its head. It's, it's so cute. I do have some carpets though, so I want to spice it up a little bit. Let's put some carpets on top of the nose so it looks a little fluffy. Slap some around like the body, I guess. And there we go. We got a, ho a horse. <laughs> what? We got a fox sleeping on top of this little pillar. I still don't really know where to put the fox though. Like where, where do I put flox? Honestly, let's just build him a little shack right here underneath the giant fox. So he's kind of like living underneath the mom that's sleeping above him. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just luring at this point. <laughs> and just a reminder, this is what the place looked like in the beginning of the video. And this is what it looks like now. Yeah, I think we have, we've done a lot. We're only halfway through this because I still have three more mobs to collect in the medium difficulty. And I've been kind of dreading these last three medium mobs, but let's go do it. The next one is going to be the frog. So I'm going to need to head to a mangrove swamp biome. Hey, there's my little village. Probably collecting a little bit of dust because nobody lives here yet. But um, if I want to find a frog, I need to act like a frog. Frog. Ribbit, ribbit. <gasps> Is that a frog? Yo! Let me just yoink him. He has no idea I'm here. Yoink! <laughs> Got you, son. Okay, since we're here in the swamp, I want to try to collect as many frogs as I can. Because the journey back is like 3,000 blocks. Yay! Oh, no! Whoa, whoa, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Oh, my God, dude. What the kind of sequence ever, man? I'm going to jump scare him. You ready? Yo! Oh, he wasn't phased at all. All right. Okay, now that I have four frogs, let's head back home. And I do see a desert over there, so maybe I can also find a camel on the way. Where are the camels at? <gasps> They're bunnies. Can I tame bunnies? Yoink. I had a pet bunny as a kid, but my mom let him free because he was kind of aggressive. <laughs> oh, I miss my bunny. Oh, yeah. How are the most jumpy mobs in Minecraft the hardest to transport? They, they literally won't jump over these blocks. It's so annoying. Just get over, man, please. Okay, well, I can't seem to find a camel anywhere, so I'm actually just going to travel back and this took me forever but it was well worth it in the end we have finally made it all of the frogs made it i, I did lose a rabbit though don't don't ask why i kept his guts yes let's keep them right here all right i got geromino jake and lebron those are my four frogs now i just need a place for these guys to live and honestly i want to rebuild the mangrove swamp biome for them because this environment is totally different from where they're naturally from so let's build it right in the middle over here just a small little circle of the mangrove biome. Wait, I just realized. Do these mangrove propagalates count as saplings for mangrove trees? What if I plant this here? Bro, how? How are you always breaking out of your cage? He's actually Alcatraz. Bro, this guy is following me everywhere I go. This is like the third time. You, you have to stay, okay? All right, let's test this theory out. Let's bone meal this. Okay, it's bone mealing. It's not doing anything. Maybe because... <gasps> Oh my god, it actually works. I can't believe I spent all that time building this when I could have just bone mealed a bunch of these Papa Lago poutines. Oh my god, that is huge. Let's just plant a few more of these. There we go. We got the mangrove swamp. So before I put the frogs inside their new home, I need to raise the glass a little bit so the frogs cannot escape. And my favorite part is that part of the trees are like leaning over the edge and it's kind of just like going over the walls, which is cool. And I also made a little walkway so I can walk inside and try to find the frogs like it's an actual zoo. Now let's cut a hole into the glass and take all of my frogs over to their brand new home. Let's go team. All right. And you guys go be free and let's lock them in. Now, if I ever want to visit my frogs, go walk into here and just try to spot them. Um, they, 
They haven't moved much yet. But there we go. We got my pet frogs all tamed up and locked up in a little jail cell. The next animal I want to tame is going to be a camel. Because I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't get one earlier. For some reason, I feel like camels spawn near villages. I don't really know why I get it. I'm getting that feeling. But let's go check. Ooh, there's a cat. Oh, oh, no luck here. <gasps> oh, camel! Yes! Oh my god, he's giant gamungus. Look how big he is beside the kid. Oh my god, let me ride you, daddy. Pause. Oh yeah! Let's go on an adventure! Well, wish me luck, guys, because I'm gonna be trekking through the entire Minecraft world to bring this camel home. Yes! That took me forever. That was like over an hour and a half. I didn't know camels were this slow. Mm. Now we gotta figure out a place to put this giant camel. Huh. Honestly, I might just slap the camel right in the middle over here. My idea for his home is to build like a just giant sand temple. So let's go ahead and grab all of the sand and sandstone and let's start building the temple. Okay, this is what I got so far. Just a little temple right here. And I'm guessing the camel will sit here or up here and feel like super royal. So uh, let's continue building and see what kind of magic I can do. And the reveal, bam. Oh yeah, doesn't that look awesome? It covers the fox up a little bit, but at least it's not the entire thing. And bam, daddy long neck. <laughs> oh yeah, all right, let's go daddy long neck. You're gonna sit right up. Oh, I'm too big. Okay, you gotta go by yourself if you could fit. Nope, nope. All right, he just sat down and stuck his butt in my face. Let's break a little bit of this wall here so I can push him in. Get up. Go, and you're sitting right here. Oh my God, this guy's big. Let's put a fence here and tie him down to the fence. Let's quickly rebuild what I broke down. And there we go. Oh yeah. Look at him just standing neck tall. Daddy of the world. Oh my God. Now let's transition the ground a little bit so it's smoother. And my camel habitat is all complete. The entire zoo is looking pretty complete so far. Just imagine at the very end with like pathways connecting to everything. It's going to look amazing, but we still have a ton of mobs to collect. I've been dreading collecting this mob for a while now, and that is the Strider. Going to the nether is just so much work, but honestly, it might be the easiest because all I really need to do is build a nether portal and go in. Okay, here we go. And oh, there's already Striders. Nice. I just want to do a drive by. Uh, I'm not sure if I can control both of them. Can I, I have a carrot on a stick? I think they do. <gasps> Yo, he just dropped me. That was not the destination I put my Uber at. Honestly, this might not work. Uh, um, oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. How do I get up? Oh no. Okay. Thank God there's fire resistance. How am I stuck? It's literally a giant pool of lava. Thank God I had a totem on. Okay. I grabbed another saddle and I'm just going to head for this guy. Nice and simple. I'm coming for you. Mm, yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought I could control them. Oh, I need a warped fungus on a stick. Whoops. Let's craft a fishing rod and slap a fungus on it. Mm -mm. Oh yeah. Here here we go. Look at him waggle his head. <laughs> All right, perfect. There's an underpass right here. Oh my God. They are really slow on land. Okay. This might take a little bit. We'll get there eventually. Ow. Okay. We are up and let's go through the portal uh, and we got our strider. And since the nether portal is already on top of this little hill, let's just put the striders home up here and basically recreate the nether. And this is what I got so far. I tried to transition the overworld into the nether kind of smoothly. And my plan for this strider is to have like a water or not water stream, a lava stream coming down this cliff or something into a lava lake down here and that is where my boy will live because this guy is kind of he's been shivering for a while he's a little cold <laughs> let's fly into the nether collect some lava buckets uh oops <laughs> and start working on this lava lake and there we go now let's come up on top of this cliff and just put a lava bucket right there hopefully it flows down nicely into that lake and out. i'm also going to put one over here somewhere so there's another stream and let's just pray it looks good honestly it's a little fatter over here than i wanted it to be but um it works all right let's head over here and call my strider an evil scientist because like he really looks like one <laughs> okay come down here buddy he's looking a little more normal now it's looking pretty good so far i just want to add a little bit more detail to make the nether look even better the mad scientist strider finally has a home and that is every single medium mob tamed inside this giant zoo all we have left is the hard difficulty and that includes the skeleton horse and axolotl bees and two special guests let's first start with the bees because i feel like i've seen bees just wandering around here buzz 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 buzz, buzz, buzz. you like jazz bro there's literally a fire alarm going on right now and i'm <laughs> I'm too focused on finding bees. I, I cannot give up. I didn't have any luck finding bees anywhere. So I'm actually just going to go to my bee farm over here and steal 
awesome. I'm finally letting them out of their prison. <laughs> they are so trained to work. They're just trying to fly back in. Guys, I'm, I'm bringing you to a new home. You guys will be free. Let's go. Whee! Look at these bees. <laughs> All right, let's come over here and I'm going to strap you right to this fence. And for these guys' home, I'm planning on building like a giant beehive attached to a tree. I feel like that'd be pretty cool and really realistic. So let's get working on that. I think that looks pretty good so far. It's it's a little curvy. That was what I was going for. But uh, let's just start stripping the logs. And there's another fire in my house. Awesome. I've got my priorities straight. <laughs> I'm playing Minecraft over a fire. The things I do to finish a video. Okay, there we go. And let's build a little uh string looking thing i don't really know how to describe it just something to look like it's holding up something oh my god words are hard <laughs> and this will hold up the beehive that will just float right here in the middle all right perfect now in order for me to build this giant beehive i'm gonna need to build it out of a ton of little bee nests it's obviously gonna be an oval shape or a circle so let's first start oh there's a bee in there what the heck let's first start by building a little top part for the beehive like this then we'll fill it in and make it a little bit bigger oh my god there's gonna be a lot of bee nests that i don't have let's go around around like this we have the top half let's bring it down i want to have a little opening so like some yellow glass mainly because it will save me a lot of time trying to find beehives but then we can also look inside of the beehive let's go grab some glass uh, uh, and fill in this little corner like this that will be our viewing area for the bees and we just need to fill in the rest of this which is going to be very painful okay i'm back i got 34 bee nests hopefully that's enough please be enough <laughs> it was so painful okay let's fill this in oh i think it is okay let's finish up the floor here and with seven to spare oh yeah that's our beehive and the hives also came with a few more bees so let's uh, uh, collect them and collect this guy and now we have a total of four bees you will be bb you will be be delicious, be Toven, <laughs> and you be be cool. And now we just gotta shove them inside their beehive. Okay, you guys go in there. And I'll lock you up. Okay, now let's do a little bit more decoration. Add some honey blocks around and some flowers. And there we go. We have our pet bees. I decided to just trap them outside of the beehive and tie them to a fence so we can actually see them and they won't be just flying around and disappear. The next pet I want to tame is gonna be an axolotl, and he's also gonna live in this giant tank of water. I'm pretty sure I have a giant tub of axolotl axolotl somewhere please tell me they're still here please <gasps> yes i still have axolotls here oh my god they must be starving okay okay let me let me get him let's also get a pink axolotl yoink and while i'm here might as well just feed them because they definitely haven't ate since vietnam here we go here we go everybody gets to eat today all right uh, let's put down the axolotl and welcome to your new home let's go wait 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 why are you attacking my fish i forgot they attack fish oh my god God, I just murdered a fish. And now the dolphin is playing with his dead body. Oh my God, this is this is horrendous. I'm evil. <laughs> okay, you know what? Over here on this side of the aquarium, let's just block it off and allow the axolotls to live over here. Because it seems like all of the fish are already liking that side more. And this is perfect. You know why? Because the puffer fish is over here. And I really hope axolotls like to eat puffer fish. So let's build this giant wall of glass. And let's load the axolotls inside. We got a yellow one and a pink one. Please attack that puffer fish. Come on. Why aren't you attacking him? Oh my God. Okay. I guess the three killers get to live together. <gasps> yes. Yes. That's a dub. Thank you, axolotls. <laughs> Hopefully they don't make it over to that side. Because if they do, it's going to be a massacre. All, all of these fish are going to die. So let's just be sure and increase the size a little bit. And since these axolotls are killers, I'm going to name one Jeffrey, one Dahmer. Now I'm kind of afraid to be in here. Ooh, get me out. <laughs> okay, but that marks off the axolotls. That was actually easier than I thought. I was imagining I would need to go out and find axolotls, which is the most annoying thing. But before I reveal the two secret pets I'm going to tame, I'm going to need to tame the hardest pet ever and that is the skeleton horse the only way to get a skeleton horse is to have a horse get struck by lightning during a thunderstorm which is about a four percent chance in minecraft so yeah this is going to be challenging so let's head over to a giant plains biome and try to find a group of horses oh okay there's two over here that's not a lot but honestly it's worth a try now i just gotta wait for it to rain somehow um, I, I, I don't really know what to do to make it rain. Hello, God, could you please, could you p please piss on my head? Like, thank you very much. Oh my God, it's raining. I was literally not even on a computer. I really hope it's thundering. I was waiting for a while. Oh my God. Okay. I read on the wiki that you don't even need a horse. The thunder could just spawn a skeleton horse. So I just got to hope for it to thunder and then look around and try to find a skeleton horse. If I get lucky. So far, I'm not seeing any thunder. Oh. 
I hear thunder. Oh, wait, there was literally a strike right here. No, no horse yet. So we just gotta keep scouring around. <gasps> I see fire over there. A horse. Nope. Well, I feel like this is going to take a while for me to find a skeleton horse. So in the meantime, while I wait, I just remembered I do have some more homes to build. So let's get started working on that while I wait for it to start raining again. <laughs> All right. For the parrots, I want to build something similar to the bees. Some overhanging type of home for every single color that I have. And let's build it uh, maybe just right here. Let's build a little arc with some spruce wood. There we go. I, I kind of like how this looks. It's super odd. I'm a lot of random stairs and slabs, but I kind of like it. My parapets will just sit here, but um, let's go check on how I'm doing with getting a skeleton horse. <gasps> That was right beside me. Oh my God, that almost hit me. But still no luck. That almost hit that horse though. Yep, that's unlucky. <laughs> but since we have a blue, red, and green parrot, let's go grab some blue, green, and red carpets. Okay. <sighs> let's put the red guy here, the green guy here, and the blue guy over here. Not enough space for the green, so sucks to suck. The green parrot is the most annoying. He's always following me around. But let's grab them. <clears throat> Mm. All right, welcome to your new home, guys. Get up. Go to green. You go to blue. Red, you sit right in the middle over here. I think it looks pretty cool. All right, since that's done, let's go check on the progress of the skeleton horse again. Hopefully, I'm not struggling too hard. No, it's daytime. Oh, I didn't get a skeleton horse. I got to aim here for another six hours. Ah, I'm going to dig myself in a hole and cry. Yep. I'm still struggling. What a surprise. We still have these pandas to make a home for. Let's build that over here in this corner. I do have some bamboo right here, but I think I need some more. So... Ah, give me all that bamboo. Honestly, the panda's home should be fairly easy. Let's just slap a bunch of bamboo everywhere so the pandas have a bunch of things to eat and just chill beside. And to change up the color, let's just put some random stones around, some lighting, some flowers... And my plan is to have a little wooden pathway just like cutting through the enclosure so we can just see the pandas vibe around. Okay, I finished the path and I realized it's raining. Maybe I can find myself a skeleton horse. Third time's the charm, right? Oh my god, that's a spider jockey though. <laughs> oh, he got hit right there. No, no horse. I think those are quite rare and he's being killed by a zombie. I was wrong. It was not the charm. Oh my, who put this giant pit of lava here? Okay, let's grab my three pandas. I still don't have a name. For I can't. I can't lead pandas. Okay, maybe they'll just follow me with the bamboo. Come with me, daddies. Could you move any faster, please? Oh my God, you have four legs for a reason. There we go. That'll be a lot easier. Let's just push them into place right there. And honestly, I might need to trap these pandas because they're just going to roam around and escape. So I'm sorry, but let's grab some glass. Let's turn it into some panes. I'm just going to do a little bit of this. I'm sorry, but you're, we have to do this. And there we go. We got one panda. We got the second one here and the third one is... In here but there we go the panda enclosure is done and i think i used this terrain pretty well i really wanted to put something fancy inside this cool generated mountains and i think i did i really love the verticalness i added with the bamboo if that if that's a word but now let's pray the fourth time trying to find a skeleton horse is the one because i really need one <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I found one, but it was one of those duty duty thingies. Okay. Let's grab my bone arrow. I totally forgot to even do this. <gasps> no, I just killed one. Okay, I need to kill these skeletons on top. I literally have three. Oh my god. I didn't even see a lightning strike hit them. It just it just happened. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, we got the hardest mob to tame ever. So for these guys, I think I'm gonna build something pretty simple, honestly. I want them to be out in the open and not trapped inside like a giant enclosure. So my idea is to have them live inside a giant rib of some animal. I don't know. I, I just want to build a rib cage with bones. All right. I think that looks pretty good. It's a lot bigger than I was expecting. And it's a little closer to the temple than I was hoping. It's literally touching it. But um, you know what? It works. Let's grab some cobblestone walls. Something that looks like industrial almost. And let's just build a little living center thing right here. Let's put another one over here. There we go. Let's have this one jump into here. Let's take another one of these guys and put him in here. Oh, yeah. Let's add a few lanterns on these bone blocks. Let's add a little bit of decoration. And I really like how it turned out. I added a bunch of campfire, so it gives it like a cool, eerie, smoky effect. Like it's you're, like it's just a vibe to walk through this. That is every single pet tamed in Minecraft. The last thing I need to do is build a pathway all around this entire zoo, bring it all together and connect everything. Also add a bunch of decoration in the empty spaces, like bushes, trees, flowers, some random stones and all that. And there we go. The entire place is all mapped out with a bunch of paths leading into every single enclosure. We 
go walk over here, see the aquarium. We go fly over here and see my pet. What the? Wait, 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 wait. How did he get here? Wait, is this another one that just spawned? I swear I saw all three of my horses here. I do. <gasps> what? No way. Oh my God. Well, I guess we have a visitor. That is insanely lucky. But there we have it. We tamed every single pet in Minecraft. That was a ton of fun and I hope you guys enjoyed. <gasps> my bridge burned.